think I've distinguished myself over the years as an objective leader, as a leader who stands his ground, as a leader who stands on principle. Many times, even before what my you know, competitors and uh, their colleagues thrive on, uh, you know, they like talking about the handshake, I've demonstrated what we call Siasa Safi. When the Honorable Prime Minister, former Prime Minister's retirement benefits were being um, you know, rejected in Parliament because his now partner and brother said he must retire from politics, I'm the only person from Jubilee who stood up to defend. When Honorable Oloch was being fought at pan -Afric by Jubilee members, on the 26th of October, I'm the one who defended him. When Babu Owino was thrown into a cell and Raila Odinga and Wetangula could not remove him, I went, despite there not being any agreement before the handshake. I believe in Siasa Safi. I believe politics is not enmity. And I want to assure even my opponent that once we get into office, some of the ideas he has, because he's a good manager, and this city also needs, you know, in some areas you need managers, of course, led by a leader with a vision. We'll incorporate the ideas. Everybody sitting on that side knows that I have no negative relationship with them. And that is the Siasa Safi Nairobians want. And that is why all your polls show that Nairobians across the political divide have resolved to support me for the office of government.